say, get ready to expose the gift that's inside of you. I hear the Lord say, this is the season that you're getting ready to send the devil into shock trauma. Some of y'all don't know it, but the devil been running you crazy. But I heard the Lord say that you're about to pay the devil back for all the hell he's been giving you. Slap your neighbor, say neighbor, I'm about to give the devil a wretched pimp slap. I'm going to slap him for all the hell he brought you. I'm going to slap him for all the lies I've been through. I'm going to jack slap him for all the trouble he's sending the children through. Somebody in the atmosphere just pimp slap the devil and say, devil, I'm coming to get messed up. Come on and see that. Come on and say yes. Come on and say yes. I hear the now. Say this is the season that your family is going to be amazed. This is the season you're about to show your co-workers that you don't need the job no more. You're going to say I can't hide my anointing anymore. I can't hide my creativity anymore. I can't hide my personality anymore. And I came to tell you. I came to tell you. That if you got fake friends, they ain't gonna like you in this season. Help your neighbor, say neighbor. God's about to bless me so that I'm gonna know who my real friends are. Because they're gonna see who I really am. Oh, I hear the Holy Ghost telling me you're gonna have to downsize in order to upgrade. You want to cut some folks off. You want to quit calling folks. You want to delete somebody out of your phone. And say, if you ain't connected for kingdom, I ain't got time to fool with you. I don't want to be tolerated. I need to be celebrated. I want some folks around me. Can say, son, you anointed. I need some folks around me. They can lay hands on me. And say, oh. Hold on, son. I hear your change coming. Hallelujah. Slap your name and say, you're about to see who I really am. Hallelujah to God. I'm gone. But she said, I can't hide it. She said, I can't hide it no more. My time is already up. I feel the anointing. She put the baby in the basket. Isn't it funny? How people were trying to hide you. God is trying to get your name to be great. But I came to tell you, don't settle for second class. Don't settle for somebody's second class anointing. You don't let nobody talk you out of what God's going to do. Tell your neighbor you can't hide me no more. Tell them you can't hide me no more. I don't know who needs it tonight. But I need about 80 people in the room. Just shout and say, I'm free. I'm free from what happened in my past. I'm free from what y'all think about me. You talked about me when I didn't have nothing. You talked about me when it looked like I'm backslid. You talked about me and said I wasn't about to get it. But I'm so glad. That I'm free tonight. Raise your hand and say, I'm free. Say it again, I'm free. I'm gone. But I heard the law. Said he put him in the basket. Made out of tar. Put him in the weeds. Not in the water. She placed him when he will not have been positioned and not stuck. Sometimes God will put you in a position because he's waiting on the right person to identify you. Who am I talking to? There's about 50 
people in here. God said you right where he wants you. And God said there's going to be an usher of destiny over the next 30 days that's going to usher you to the king's table. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I've been delayed but not denied. God told me to tell you and I preach it here. Somebody say preach reverend. In a few days you're about to be spotted. Tell three people in a few days. You're about to be spotted. Somebody's about to see. When the prophet tell you to do it, you better do it. Somebody's about to see the anointing in you. He's about to put you in the hands of somebody that can be trusted. He's about to take you to another level. The blessings you're about to receive. 